just saw how I cut that, that log up into with the 572. Uh, I, this now, the wood's getting a little bigger. I'm gonna plant you guys in here. This is a iron horse hybrid 372 with a 390 piston in it. Um, or pardon me, a, I don't even know. It's like a 660 piston, 390 cylinder. Uh, I think he's gonna actually make me a 95 cc saw. This saw, friends, this is my favorite. This is my favorite power saw right here, right now. This is my favorite saw I own right here. This is it. He told me bucking, this saw's got compression. He says he's not, he does, he's, he's not used to all this having, this bar oil, I freaking love this new bar oil that I'm running right now. I'm gonna share that with you. Anyways, this saw's got the most compression of any of my saws. 372s, okay? Any of them. No decomp, okay? So it's a pull hard once game. You don't play around with a saw. Okay, enough. This saw is a thumper. Look at this, listen to it. Oh! My gosh, I've not fired this saw in a long time. So friends, right now, this thing has Mark's pretzel muffler on it. Friends, listen to this. Wah, wah, wah. Listen on off here. Listen. So this is something about these style of saws, the way something that that old man does, that it, it, the crack, 
It's instant throttle response. And it's there when you need it, but exhaust extrapolates that as well, friends. saw cut did you see that mm. why is mine cut like that well um, it could have something to do with that motion or this zzz, zzz. friends when I one hand the saw and I show you that the kickback drop I call it the kickback drop if your if your rakers are 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 whacked, that won't do that one handed. You'll have to push on the, to to stop that. like a bore cut. You know what I mean, like a bore where you drop the nose into the. A saw won't do that if the rakers are bonky. You might see a little, like you'll notice mine just pop, just a couple little jumps like that, but it sinks right down in, and I can push it through one handed. That tells you the man uses a raker gauge or he somehow fluked out and nailed it. That's what that'll tell you. So if your saw's not doing that, you don't have to test it like I do with one hand. I do that to, sh to prove a point, to show a point that how important it is to have your rakers on point. Because smooth is fast. Smooth is fast. Can you imagine this? Uh, through the wood? Can you imagine? Uh, or... Uh, it's faster every single time. Every single time you could have the exact same sharpening and you could have a saw with one raker or two rakers high and you will get a chatter and the smooth saw will finish at the bottom before the rough one will. It's that simple. It's, it's physics. It's not me. I didn't make the rules. So get your filing on point. It's all in the filing. I've said this for freaking years. I'm about to make another shirt. It's all in the filing. I'm going to actually. Because there could be nothing further from the truth. It's all in the filing. I harped on it years ago. And I even made a little sticker and a little thing. And uh, nothing could be further from the truth, friends. Ported saws are wonderful. And pipes make a huge difference. Let's be honest, they do. And I'm working on a 572 design right now, friends. That has actually changed the game. And you're going to see that next video. Not this video. This video is the, the 86er and the Pioneer. And what a, what a party that was, wasn't it, friends? Hey, you're about to see the 51 go off here. So just a quick interjection to a hello to all the families and the men and the women and the children that sit and watch old Buck and Billy Ray just play around in the wood and in the trees. I love yous. I, I, I'm, not, I'm not a dramatic guy. I just like to come here and, and share what I do know a little bit about. And that's the power sauce. But I will say this, it is in the filing, friends. My, my saws rip through the wood because of the filing, because of the chain. There's guys that are gonna have stronger saws that I'm still gonna catch at the bottom. I'm gonna, I'm gonna see at the bottom. And it's because of the filing. So spend time on your filing. There's all these old cliches about that, and it's true. So I really enjoy when you come here um, if standing up and bucking is, is something you're breaking into now with that longer bar and you're starting to, to here, here's a little a thought process, okay? The Mac 1010. I'm going back now, which are torquier than the new saws. The new saws rev way higher than the old saws do, but a 1010, a, a Mac 1010, friends, is 54 cc's. 54 cc's. All my Macs are dressed up in 28 bars. 28 inch bars, every single one of them. They're all dressed up in, 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 in the 28 inch bars. 24 is great. It's great. 
I can still stand up and get a fair bit of work done with a 24 inch bar. So don't think if you're running a 20 inch bar on a say a 60 cc saw, if you've got a 60 cc saw, a new 60 cc, 60 to 65 cc saw, you should be able to run a 24 to a 28 inch bar on that all day long with no problems whatsoever. But if you're the kind of guy that doesn't use a raker gauge and just eyes it up and sweeps his rakers every now and again, you may run into difficulties. A hungry chain is going to tax the motor. Oh, yeah, well, Buck, and that's all fine and dandy in your softwood there, but when you get into some of this Mississippi hickory, oh, man, you, you got another thing coming, young fella. Oh, crikey, mate, you got to try some of our gray box. You should be able to set your dogs in to a log that's fairly good size, knee height, like I'm doing here, and, and lean on it a bit without it dying. And the reason they die is because your rakers are too low and you're lifting up too hard. Let the motor work, friends. Let the motor work. There's a little bit of a science to it. Let's get back at this. Let's enjoy the P51 in all its glory. It's a funky saw. It's got a choke that kind of slips on. I got to stay on it. It's old, but she's got the canaches, let me tell you. Bottom line, just I love when you come here. And I, I'm so happy to see our comment section real shiny these days. It is, it's got a good shine on it. Thank you all so much. Enjoy the rest of the video. And the next video tomorrow or the next day, I'm breaking things up a little right now because of time. It's going to be that 572 with the new muffler going off. Like going right off. And maybe some 125. <laughs>
so friends, I get into tuning here for a second, but it, it, I believe this is a governed carb, if I'm not mistaken. Let's listen. This will be painful to watch. I'm going right through these knots because I don't want to change the size of my wood. I'm dead square in about four knots here. Watch, watch what happens here. Uh-huh. 
Baker Gage, right there. Did you see that?